Hey, it's Tony with the Code Guys, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial. I'm actually just going to be running through the 3D platform tutorial at a high level to show you um, the ins and outs of Unity, um, adding some scripts to a prefab, and uh, showing you how those work. And the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the Unity site and you want to download this 3D platform game. It comes with a tutorial and um, it has a PDF and it has a zip file. The zip file um, is basically all the assets and um, and all of the scene, the scene information. So I'm going to hop over to Unity where I've already got it open and you'll do, do file, open scene, all of my Unity stuff in a Unity folder, assets, scenes, the game dot unity and just open and it says do you want to save the game that you the changes you've currently made with it and I do not want to save so it's going to open up this that you see um, the reason why I'm reopening it is that I have done some work with the prefabs and I want to do that in the video and I don't want that to be um, in the current video um, in the current build. So um, first of all, I'll show you um, what I'm working off of. It, this is a PDF. It uh, pretty much shows you step by step what to do. But I'm going to run through it just the first part to show you that um, it's really something you can do quickly and it's pretty painless. So the first thing um, I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate around and I am going to grab objects lerps and drag lerps onto my stage or my screen my scene sorry and I'm going to uh, kind of zoom in on them okay now I'm going to change this and rename it player. So this is going to be our player object. And um, a lot of the uh, third person perspective games require camera um, scripting. So um, this near camera object is what this demo has provided us to work with. So you go to scripts and you add the uh, camera script and you want the spring follow camera script and you want to drag it up into the near camera so when you click on this near camera you get this inspector pane and um, what you want to do is you go to the target and you want to drag the player to the target so the camera the spring follow script target is going to be the uh, player. So let's hit play real quick. As you can see there's no enough, there's no player controller so we um, we don't have any of that yet. So now what we're going to do is we're going to drag the third person controller script from the scripts area and I'll click on the player you can see there's no third person controller script but if you go up to scripts and go to player third person controller and you're gonna drag that up into the player and it says this action will lose the prefab connections you do OK or continue and now we get a we get a camera movement that we didn't get before and it will now the character moves but it doesn't animate so uh, now we're going to stop here and we're going to grab the scripts player and third person animation now if you look in this animation script 
basically it's a uh, it loops the animations based on what the character is doing. So uh, if you are doing a run, you it does it plays a certain animation and um, just just scroll through this and get an idea of the different animation types. Um, there's a wall jump. There's a um, butt slam like Mario does. There's um, and then you can see it's not a very complicated script. It um, sets your run speeds and everything. So um, I'm going to go back to player and um, we're going to drag this third party player into there. You'll see it show up. And now we're going to hit play. Now he is animated, and he does everything that a character is supposed to do. He's a little bit high um, in in the world, and that's because the um, this this capsule that represents him is is too hot, too uh, high. It needs to be lifted up. I mean, I'm sorry, it's too low. So uh, you can jump, and then. The, the cool thing when you're testing is you can pause and say you wanted to really speed his walk speed up if it's paused you can just come here and jack his um, walk speed up and then unpause and watch see he's much faster runner or walker stop that again changes changes walk speed to 20 Unpause. Whoa, he's way much faster. And there we go. <laughs> Run him right off the platform. If you double click on the third person controller, you get the script to review. Um, and it's it's a little bit more complicated than the animated, um, but it's a good good idea that if you're going to be uh, getting into game development that um, you, you really study how these prefabs are built because uh, it will really give you a lot of information as far as the function calls and the variable assignments and things like that. So just, it's real easy to, uh, you just, uh, in the project pane, come to these prefab scripts and double click on them and they'll open up and you can really get a good understanding of what's going on behind the scenes. So uh, thanks for watching. I just wanted to quickly run through this um, this tutorial. It, if uh, I know when you're first getting into these long PDFs, you think, oh, it's going to take me for, forever. But um, literally it took, what, five minutes to pull this off. And and uh, it really does help you get a good understanding of what's going on behind the scenes. So. Uh, go to Unity, download the 3D platform tutorial, and give it a, give it a whirl. Thanks.